The folks at Bar Harbor Whale Watch want to welcome you to Bar Harbor and Mount Desert Island. Our boat cruises have something for everyone, each highlighting some of those special things that make Maine such a spectacular place. Where to start? Well, with the whales, of course. Whales are some of the largest and most fascinating creatures on the planet, and they're right here, a boat ride away in the offshore waters of the Gulf of Maine. Now, whales have been designed by millions of years of evolution for a life beneath the sea. But whales are also a lot like us. They aren't fish, but warm-blooded mammals bearing live young. Also like us, they have lungs, not gills, and come to the surface of the ocean waters in order to breathe. And when they breathe, watch out. The whale's breath sprays high into the air, condensing as it meets the surrounding atmosphere and creating the distinctive bushy or column-shaped spout. There are about 90 species of cetaceans or whales, and they're divided into two major groups, baleen whales and toothed whales. The baleen whales, such as the humpback or right whale, lack teeth. Instead, They've evolved to have hundreds of fringed keratin plates called baleen that grow from the upper jaw. This allows them to engulf large patches of plankton or fish without swallowing the massive amounts of seawater they take into their large mouths. The most well-known of the baleen whales is the humpback. As adults, humpbacks average 40 to 45 feet, and some grow up to 60 feet. When they're born, Baby humpbacks or calves are a mere 12 feet long. The humpback has, as you might expect, a hump. It's a slight hump just forward of its dorsal fin, and it also has distinctive knob-like bumps about its head. Its long flippers are often white with black markings. The flippers are long, sometimes up to one-third of the body length. Humpbacks also have distinctive tail shapes and markings that allow whale researchers to identify them and track them over their lives. Some humpbacks have names. Individuals we've seen frequently over the years include Sword, Triton, Nuke, and Gemini. Speaking of identifying whales, they're easy to spot from one of Bar Harbor Whale Watch's comfortable catamarans. The Bar Harbor Whale Watch Company is Whale Scent Certified meaning vessels follow regional guidelines that ensure safe and responsible whale watching practices. Whale Sense is a voluntary education program sponsored by NOAA Fisheries and Whale and Dolphin Conservation. On your Bar Harbor Whale Watch cruise, you might see finbacks. As the name suggests, this species has a relatively large and distinctive dorsal fin. Those fine, fancy stripes behind the whale's head are called chevrons, and they're asymmetrical. The chevron and dorsal fin are unique to each individual fin whale and can allow scientists to identify and track these massive animals. Some fin whales can be as long as 70 feet from head to tail. It's that powerful tail and streamlined body that sends this whale swimming through the water at up to 30 miles per hour. Their fins aren't used for paddling or propulsion, but for steering, sort of like a rudder on a boat. You might be lucky enough to see the Atlantic right whale during your Gulf of Maine adventure. Unfortunately, there aren't as many as there once were. In fact, the right whale got its name because it was just the right whale for commercial uses. Right whales were hunted because they yielded great amounts of oil that could be used to light lamps and for their baleen, which could be used to make corsets and for many other human uses. Atlantic right whale species numbers were greatly diminished and continued to be threatened by human activities in the ocean. In 2019, scientists estimated 400 individuals, making them one of the most endangered whale species in the world. Today, they're threatened by ship collisions, entanglements in fishing gear, and pollution. An adult right whale can grow to more than 50 feet. But unlike other whales in Maine waters, the right whale has no dorsal fin. That tail is another thing that makes the right whale easy to spot. It's large and black with a deep notch and smooth edges. 
They also have raised rough patches of skin on their heads where small crustaceans called cyamids congregate. These patches of skin are called callosities and are photographed to help researchers identify individuals. We can't forget the smallest of the baleen whales, the minke. Yes, the minke is small, well, as small as whales go, that is, at just about 30 feet from stem to stern. Its dark back and white belly are complemented by a blaze of gray on both sides of its body and white bands on each flipper, which can often be seen first underwater if a minke is in a playful mood and comes up to the boat to visit. Now for common toothed whales in the Gulf of Maine, this would include the beautiful white-sided dolphin. Ranging seven to nine feet long, these dolphins have a white band or strip along each side of their tailstock. Dolphins have needle-shaped teeth and a beak-like snout or rostrum, while their cetacean cousins, porpoises, have spade-shaped teeth and a blunt little snout. The harbor porpoise is commonly seen inshore and offshore and about four to five feet long. Be on the lookout for their dark backs and stubby dorsal fins breaking the surface. On many Bar Harbor Whale Watch cruises, you can see other denizens of the deep, including ocean sunfish and basking sharks. And don't forget the puffins! Each morning's Whale Watch and Puffin and Lighthouse tour visits the island of Petite Manan, which is part of the Maine Coastal Islands National Wildlife Refuge. Often, thousands of oceanic seabirds can be seen feeding with the whales. Whether you get to see Maine's whales from a distance or up close, Watching whales in their natural habitat aboard a Bar Harbor Whale Watch cruise can be the adventure of a lifetime. If you are looking for more ways to experience Bar Harbor and Acadia from the water, then join us for the Bar Harbor Whale Watch's Acadia by Sea Tour. On this cruise, you're off to see some of Maine's most impressive and scenic landmarks, such as Thunder Hole in Skudik Peninsula. And this tour is guided by both a National Park Ranger and Bar Harbor Whale Watch Company Naturalist. If you want an adventure into Acadia National Park, Baker Island can be reached from Bar Harbor aboard the Baker Island Lighthouse and Park Tour. This special cruise aboard the Miss Samantha and Baker's Dozen will give you a personal look at Baker Island. A National Park Ranger guides the tour, including the landing and walkout to the lighthouse and 19th century homestead on the island. With the guide's help from Acadia National Park, you can connect to the 200 years of human history dating back to the Gilly family in 1806. On the way back from Baker Island, the Miss Sam will take you along the shore of Acadia National Park's famous Ocean Drive with remarkable views of all its wildlife, shoreline geography, and impressive homes. Another great tour is the Nature Cruise. Learn about the natural and cultural history of Mount Desert Island while cruising through Frenchman Bay. This tour visits islands home to seals, seabirds, and nesting bald eagles. Love sunsets? The Sunset Nature Cruise provides a leisurely ride through the bay, wildlife watching, beautiful coastal scenery, and the best spot to watch the sunset over the ocean. This is surely the best way to see Bar Harbor and Acadia National Park from the deck of a Bar Harbor Whale Watch boat. Make it a point to come back again for another Bar Harbor Whale Watch cruise. Who knows what you might see next time?